take a look at shares of uh, J. Crew and Sears and uh, Urban Outfitters here. Looks like uh, Eddie Lampert Sears is uh, perhaps going shopping here. Scarlett? Yeah, that's right, Margaret. We're looking at the shares, and it has spiked up. It's now at 45.74, up by about 6%. And J. Crew, the headline crossing once again, J. Crew, which uh, was in agreement to be bought out by TPG as well as uh, Leonard Green, has now received a rival bid from Sears and Urban Outfitters, or at least they're said to be considering rival bids for the company. I'm here with Jeff McCracken, one of the reporters on this story. And we thought it was a done deal. Mickey Drugs are sold out and all was good. Right, right. So they're in the middle of their go shop period, and that'll run until about January 15th. So in a, in a go shop period, the company shops itself around, looks for some competing offers. 99% of the time, those don't go anywhere. They don't actually lead to a competing offer. This is the 1% of the time where something where has perhaps, happened. Where perhaps. What I will say here is it's not clear yet if either Sears or Urban Outfitters will make a bid. What we know is they're in the data room conducting their, their due diligence, looking at the books for J. Crew to see if it makes sense to try to top the bid. Mm -hmm. If they did, that would actually be some vindication for Mickey Drexler and the board, which has come under a lot of probably um, heat? Uh, heat, a, lot, a lot of heat, a lot of criticism. I think they have like 12 different class action shareholder lawsuits that they're going to have to deal with. And, and you know, the criticism might be valid. They waited weeks and weeks before they informed the board that mm -hmm. TPG and Mickey were in, in deep talks about a takeover. So at any rate, we don't know for sure if Sears or Urban will actually make a bid. What we do know is they're in the data room, they're conducting their due diligence, and are, are exploring whether it makes sense to, to you know, rival what uh, TPG and Leonard Green had put together. What is so attractive about J. Crew, the company? Or is it Mickey Drexler, the head of J. Crew, that's attractive? I think it's Mickey, but I think it's also an idea that perhaps they could actually buy it at a low price relative to where it's traded in the past. Also, if you're Urban Outfitters or your Sears, which has Land's End, this builds off something you already do, builds off a natural apparel line or uh, an area of the apparel line that you already uh, that you already work in. Okay. And uh, we also took a look at another deal, but this time in the technology sector, you had uh, Atheros being taken out by Qualcomm. Right. Right. Yeah, interesting. Was it three and a half billion dollar all cash deal? I mean, it touches on a lot of the trends we started to see last year, and I think we're going to see through 2011. All cash deals because companies are sitting on so much cash, as we've all reported. Qualcomm had something like ten billion dollars as of the end of last quarter. Right. Right. Yeah. I think even after this deal, they'll still have north of ten. They're generating so much cash, and it's and it's technology companies trying to shift ever so slightly towards the consumer. Some that are heavy in business are trying to shift towards the consumer, and some that are in the consumer space, like say Adele, are trying to get more into the uh, the business side of things. And what Qualcomm's doing here is, I think, trying to shift a bit into not just cell phones, but more the smartphone technology. Right. Hey, hey Jeff, I want to jump in here. It's, sure. it's Margaret. Um, with the Sears deal or Sears shopping here and looking at J. Crew, I thought part of the uh, TPG uh, idea here in terms of Mickey Drexler's comfort with the firm was that they had a past history with TPG and it was locked up that he would stay as CEO should they be uh, taking over the company. So, uh, do, do you? Is this really an active, perhaps, uh, shopping period that would turn into an actual bid? I think it could. Urban, as I understand it, Urban is actually, uh, feels like if they were going to make a bid and they were going to do something, they wouldn't necessarily need Mickey. They'd be comfortable doing it without him. It was laid out in the proxy that part of the reason they went with TPG and part of the reason Mickey felt he acted appropriately was because he had such comfort level with right. TPG and it was a business he knew, it was, exec it was executives he dealt with in the past. Right. I mean, they had actually helped J. Crew go public in the first place. Right, right. Yeah, the, the, you know, if you read that proxy, it was one of the best proxies I've ever read on a, on a deal. I want to say that the two sides started talking in late August. Mickey had dinner with uh, Coulter, who was the chairman, uh, chairman of the board and a TPG co-founder. They had dinner around September 1st. They meet back and forth for weeks and weeks, and then they don't even tell the board, though, until early October. It, it was really an interesting uh, proxy. Cravath Swain, the big law firm, came in, in the middle of it and said, wait a second, wait a second, what's going on here? This isn't exactly an appropriate way to conduct a process. Now, Urban Outfitters, this is not exactly a company that um, is run by someone like Eddie Lamper. What is their strategy going forward? I mean, why would they want to acquire a J. Crew at this point? It seems like two totally different kind of lines of businesses in terms of the, the, the kind of customers they're appealing to. Right. No, I think you're right. It would be an interesting play, and it would also be a really big deal. They're about a $5 billion market cap company, so here we'd be talking a $3 billion, $4 billion deal would be a really big leap for right. them. And in the case of Eddie Lampert and Sears, they've really been struggling. I think some people will see this as perhaps appropriate really so as a bit of a Hail Mary for Sears because they've had losing okay. quarter after losing quarter since Eddie brought uh, Sears and Kmart together. All right. Well, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this, the developing story that Sears and Urban Outfitters uh, may weigh rival bids for J. Crew.